So today we're going to be talking about IMC's RCA, or root cause analysis functions. So why why is this important? Um, so first of all, root, root cause analysis, what it does is it gets right down to the root of the problem. So faster problem identification, which leads inevitably to faster MTTR, or mean time to recovery. The faster we can identify the problem, the faster we can recover from it and get our business back up and operating normally. And more than anything, it prevents alarm storms, which means we don't get messages on our phones. Let's take a look. So here we are on the IMC homepage, and we're going to go over to one of our custom views that I've got pre-populated here called WAN Environment. And we're going to click on that. This is going to take us directly over to the new HTML5 topologies. So we're going to click this open. Um, if you don't see this and you've seen the device list, top right-hand corner, topology. So we'll uh, bring this up here. And what we're going to do here is I've actually got a Air Console um, plugged into a router which is located in that WAN bubble there and I'm gonna break the link here so I'm gonna just log in and um, break the link and then we're gonna see what happens and watch what IMC does as far as as first finding the fault and then um, identifying you know the devices start going down and then identifying the root of that fault so now I'm gonna hit the button and now we're gonna wait and we're gonna watch slowly as the polling intervals start to kick in and you will see one by one these devices will start to go red. There we go. The Cisco 2900 XL, there's a blast from the past, goes down. The HP 5500EI, down. So this is based on the default polling interval which will pull the device every 60 seconds. So at some point in, in that minute, depending where we hit in the polling interval, we will identify all these devices going down, usually within the thirst, first 30 seconds. And we'll wait for the last one to go down here. And there we go. Okay, so now we can see that the entire branch has gone down. So um, IMC is going to have, as we can see here in the real time alarms, one alarm for each one of these devices going down. So obviously, um, if the WAN link's gone down, we know that's the problem, right? So in this case, we, we've caused this failure. Um, so I don't really want to have to deal with that. So let's go into the root alarms instead. And we'll see how IMC will use its intelligence and its knowledge of the topology to be able to figure out kind of what's going on here. So we've got one single root alarm here. We're going to say, let's look at the relation report. So you can see here we've got this alarm is down. This router, which is a uh, 2600, is down. So that's that, that WAN link that I've got. And these are all the devices behind that router that are also down. So IMC here is just doing some real basic topology awareness and saying, hey, if I know the router's down and that's my only path to all these devices, obviously all the, that's the problem. I'm, if I kill my routing, my WAN link, of course I can't get to those other devices. So we're going to go here and click into the alarm. And I'm going to click and make a note here and just you know, good good um, practice to follow. So when I create a note here, this is going to be tied to this particular fault, right? So I'm going to say intentional fault. I shut down the WAN link, you know, don't worry about this. So later on, if someone comes back here and looks at this and, and tries to figure out, hey, what happened? They'll, they'll be able to see this in the notes. And then if I wanted to, I've also got the edit maintenance experience, which will be tied to the OID of the alarm. So again, that will come up later on when this, this happens again. So now we're going to go back into the WAN environment, and we're going to do the reverse here. So I'm going to log back into my my 2600 router um, through my Air Console, and I'm going to type in and do a no shut at this point. So again, we're going to go through that same kind of a waiting period. Um, IMC is going to continue trying to pull those devices, and um, slowly but surely, we're going to start seeing some of those come back and go green on us. So there you have it. We have the Cisco 2900 XL has now come back to life. And as IMC continues to go through its polling period, we'll start to see more and more of these devices slowly come back to a full green state. So we'll, we'll wait here and watch that happen. There are the 5500EI goes, the 4210 goes. You can see the links going green as well, the question marks disappearing. There is the HP... 2910, 
We're just going to wait on the 3500YL here to come back alive. There we go. And look at that. We're all back alive 100%. So um, what you've actually seen happen here is as IMC has, has identified these devices coming back alive, it's automatically going through and recovering from those alarms. So this is no longer um, a, a fault state. It's automatically gone through and recovered the alarms and, and cleared the alarm state. So we can see here the root alarms, again, not there anymore. So we're going to go back into the all alarms to look for the, the alarms that have already occurred. And as you can see here, um, here's the alarms that we were all looking at. And let's go back up and find that, uh, that Cisco alarm. We'll click on that here. And so you can look in here, there's my note, and look at that, recovery status by system. So what we don't have is the acknowledged status, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back and we're going to recover um, or acknowledge all those alarms. And what acknowledging means is that somebody, um, a administrator, has looked at the alarm and has acknowledged that, yeah, indeed, an, some kind of a fault or an event happened um, and somebody did something about it, right? I'm, I'm aware of what's going on here. So I'm going to click Acknowledge. And now you can look over here on the right where it says Unacknowledged right now. I'm now going to have an audit trail where as soon as I um, query this and, and we'll refresh the screen here, you'll be able to see that the admin account has now acknowledged these items. So best practice in the real world, you probably want to be logging in with your own account and not the admin account. Um, again, in a lab, this is going to be fine. But you know, for auditing purposes, you want to be able to track um, ongoing who actually acknowledged these. So see you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.